Hi there everybody. I just wanted to share some poems that I came across. So, <laughs> without further ado, they are love poems from God and these particular poems were created by Rabia. Rabia Abbasra, 1717 to 1801, is without a doubt the most popular and influential of female Islamic saints and a central figure in the Yufi tradition. She was born nearly 500 years before Rumi, and although it is rarely said, she, perhaps more than any other poet, influenced his writings. So let's uh, start with poem number one. It's called Die Before You Die. Ironic, but one of the most intimate acts of our body is death. So beautiful appeared my death, knowing who then I would kiss. I died a thousand times before I died. Die before you die, said the Prophet Muhammad. Have wings that feared ever touch the, the sun? Have wings that feared ever touch the sun? I was born when all I once feared I could love. This one's called, The Sky Gives Me Its Heart. The sky gave me its heart because it knew mine was not large enough to care for the earth the way it did. Why is it we think of God so much? Why is there so much talk about love? When an animal is wounded, no one has to tell it, you need to heal so naturally it will nurse itself the best it can. My eye kept telling me, something is missing from all I see. So it went in search of the cure. The cure for me was his beauty. The remedy for me was to love. It works. Would you come if someone called you by the wrong name? I wept because for years he did not enter my arms. Then one night I was told a secret. Perhaps the name you call God is not really his. Maybe it is just an alias. I thought about this and came up with a pet name for my beloved, I never mention to others. All I can say is, it works. They might hold hands. Maybe if I brought the moon a little closer, lovers would argue less. They might hold hands outside and point to the heavens and say, I think God is up to something. Sweet. And the last one is called The Way the Forest Shelters. I know about love the way the fields know about light, the way the forest shelters, the way an animal's divine raw desire seeks to unite with whatever might please its soul without a single strange thought of remorse. There is a powerful delegation in us that lobbies every moment for contentment. How will you ever find peace unless you yield to love the way the gracious earth does in our heart, in our hands impulse? The way the gracious earth does to our hands impulse. It's a lovely one to end on. Thanks so much for stopping by.